Aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question is that clauses one and two stand part. Are we going to take a call? You took the title, is it? Yeah. Uh, Mr Chair. Right. Uh, Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. And just picking up on our previous speakers uh, and uh, the general sentiment that, again, acknowledge uh, the contribution of speakers um, to this bill in this session or the previous committee stage of it and at select committee, those that are on it or have passed before us. Um, I do and fully acknowledge the work and that the bill was introduced um, under the previous Labour government under Leanne Dalzell and uh, my colleague uh, Mr Power picked it up and with his very, very busy legislative programme um, also has been Minister of Justice. Uh, we have the bill which I inherited uh, in November or December last year, in fact, when I got my warrant. So, in fact, over the six or five or six months we've been able to deal with this bill, Mr Speaker, I think, as Chair at least, I think we've done very well. The title of the bill, Commerce Commission International Cooperation and Fees Bill. Mr, Mr Chairman, so much as a previous speaker just said, so many of these bills are interlinked and, of course, they reference the Commerce Commission and the very, very important role they play. Uh, Mr. Mr Chair, just to note um, that one or two speakers have commented on the, uh, the delay or the time that it's taken to bring this bill. I just note that if it wasn't for some of that de delay, the uh, SOP, of course, dated 16 August 2011, which brought in telecommunications regulatory uh, exchanges of information. So maybe there was a bit of an upside uh, to some of that the time taken. But um, aptly named, I think, the bill, International Cooperation and Fees Bill, particularly with Australia and as perhaps with other jurisdictions or government bodies as the bill prescribes as we go through, but also reflecting the cooperation of this and many uh, commerce bills around and across the House generally, I do acknowledge and thank members and parties for the cooperation for this legislation, which at the end of the day is better and more robust legislation for New Zealand in 2012. The question is that clause one. St oh, you're going to take call, honourable. Oh no, just David Clark. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair.